Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Single Mom Life, and how are y'all doing? Uh, my name's Eve. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here to record. I just have not been motivated this year, y'all, to record much, so y'all haven't got that many videos from me. But I decided to come on and do an updated video of my sweet potato pie, y'all. So stick around and see how easy it is to make a delicious sweet potato pie. So the first thing I have is I have three large sweet potatoes that I had boiled. I let these boil for about maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes until they were soft. Um, then I peeled it afterwards. So now we're fixing to get all the strings out of the potatoes. And you will need a blender. For that so so let me go ahead and do that and get the strings out of these potatoes and do you see what I'm saying when I say strings you see a little bit of strings right there that is what we are trying to get rid of and you may have to um, do this three or four times so you would blend or you would blend and rinse blend rinse blend rinse until you get all the strings and stuff out of it so let me continue with my blending y'all okay y'all so I have blended this up about three times and I rinse to get as much string as I could out of it um, but let's go ahead and start mixing everything and every time I put an ingredient in here I'm going to blend so what I'm going to be putting in my pie we're going to have two eggs this is one and one half cups of sugar we're gonna do one teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of vanilla we're going to do like one eighth of nutmeg. You don't want to go too crazy with the nutmeg. And then we're going to do three fourth cups of evaporated milk. And then three teaspoons of butter over there. And then of course we need our pie crust. So let's get started with um, getting all this stuff mixed up. Doing my eggs first. Just drop those in there. And then I'm going to blend. Next we're going to do one and a half cup of white sugar one and one half cup and now we're going to blend then we're going to do our three fourth cups of evaporated milk and then we're going to go ahead and add the butter in it as well and that's three teaspoons of butter and now we're going to blend. So this is what everything is looking like so far. Okay, so now we're going to put in all of our other ingredients. This is vanilla, one teaspoon. We're going to put in there. And then we're going to get one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to get a... And since we don't have one eighth, we're going to do half of one fourth to get our one eighth. Of, um nutmeg you don't want to go too crazy with the nutmeg because you don't want it to overpower your sweet potato pie so now we're going to mix everything up so this is our mixture now what I do and this is optional but what I do to help uh, see look at this y'all this looks nice and creamy but to take it to that next level y'all to take it to that next level I add flour so this is optional but I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you do add flour at the end of this so let me go ahead and add some flour to this and I'll tell you how much I am putting in here okay so this is my flour it's about one fourth of flour in here then we're just gonna put it in there y'all we're gonna mix this up okay so I got it all mixed also y'all make sure y'all taste this and make sure that this is the desired taste for you but if you just use the um the measurements like I have in the video it will come out perfect but like I said the flour is optional but this is how I do it um and this and you'll see how it turns out but also make sure that you taste it though now I've tasted this several times and this is good this is good yes this is really good so trust me you definitely want to make this so I'm fixing to put this over here in this pot pan and then we're gonna stick this baby in the oven 
Okay, so I'm going to fill this up. And also, y'all, this is a deep dish um, that I'm using for the pie crust. So we're just going to fill this up. And this is enough to make at least two pies, but I'm only making one. And then I'm going to freeze this, and we're going to have the other one for Christmas. So I'm going to freeze this batter right here, and then um, use that one for Christmas. Yeah. All right. So let me smooth this out. All right. So here it is. This is my pie, and I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes, but this is going to burn before an hour and 15 minutes. So normally what I do is that I will, at about 35, 45 minutes, I'll put some aluminum foil around here, and I'll let it finish cooking for the remainder of the time but like I said normally I'll let this cook for about an hour and 15 minutes hour and 10 minutes my bad so yeah let's stick this baby in the oven and I'll show y'all what this looks like and I'll cut into it once it gets done so make sure after this um, you put this in the oven that you let this sit uh, for some hours cool down before you cut into it trust me it will be so much better that way. Okay, so this is what the pie looks like out of the oven. Right here, and this is the cover. So um, the crust wouldn't burn because I did leave this in there for an hour and 10 minutes. So we're going to let this set. I, I like for mine to set overnight. And y'all will see what this looks like after it unset for some hours overnight because it's gonna look so good and then we're gonna cut into it too y'all okay so my pie has been setting for some hours i'm trying to get it in some light so y'all can see this so it's been setting for hours y'all so i'm fixing to go ahead and cut into this baby so y'all can see what the inside looks like okay y'all so i want y'all to take a look at this okay so i cut a small little piece Look at the inside of that, y'all. Do y'all see that? Do you see the inside? Right? Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look. Perfectly set sweet potato pie. Definitely need to check out my recipe. You will not be disappointed at all. Let's go on and taste this, baby. Oh, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. Check the recipe out. It's good. Your family and your friends will love you. Anyway, y'all, this is my video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment. Um, and yeah, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And happy Thanksgiving.